Hi, I'm Gerard Fabiano, and I qualified for the StarCityGames.com Players Championship through being one of the top eight points leaders at the end of the year. I started playing Magic back in 1996. I was uh, in middle school. A couple of my friends were playing Magic, so I wanted to give it a shot. I remember, you know, looking at cards like Nightmare and Ball Lightning, and I was like, these cards are awesome. And, uh, you know, they still are, but obviously they don't see much play. And uh, it was probably about two or three years later, 98 or 99, I went to my first PTQ. And I had no clue what was going on, but I wanted to play. I, uh, I remember I was two and one, and I wanted to draw. I was like, yeah, let's just draw. I wanted to stay in the PTQ as long as possible. And uh, definitely uh, good memories. Favorite Magic card, I would have to say, is Gerard's Verdict. It helped me win my first Grand Prix back in 2008. Uh, you know, it has my name in it, even though it's spelled a little bit different. But any card that gives me card advantage, I really, really like. And Gerard's Verdict is awesome because it's essentially a two for one. I want to say uh, Hunted Wumpus is my least favorite Magic card. Uh, there was back in the day, if you guys aren't familiar with the story, I played a Demonic Consultation and my opponent had no hand. He was playing a uh, kind of like a Janked style deck. It's a, it's a, a Naya deck, so they didn't have much removal to handle a 6 6 creature. So I said Demonic Consultation for Humpus Wumpus. And I said it about five or six times. The head judge said, because the rules back then were you had to name a real card. And I couldn't think of the card's name. I kept calling Humpus Wumpus instead of Hunted Wumpus. So we'll just say, you know, Hunted Wumpus or Humpus Wumpus, whatever. That card's my least favorite magic card, even though I still love it. I do a lot of stuff outside of Magic, actually. Uh, I was streaming a while ago, even though that's kind of still part of Magic. But um, I did some acting. I'm in a movie called Chasing the Green, if you guys want to watch it. It got a 4.7 on IMDb. So not that good, but, you know, my uh, acting career. I, uh, I was also on a, the Truth Tour, where I was able to travel around the country, uh, kind of talking to the teens and promoting uh, the harmful effects of tobacco. So I was telling the teens, you know what? You don't need to smoke to be cool. You could do other stuff to be cool, like play magic. I'm a teacher, I'm a high school teacher, so I try to you know, motivate the students. Like, you could do it, you know? So that's helpful. And pretty much I just try to have fun with whatever I do. I think it's a great tournament. Normally I like tournaments where it's like you play a lot of rounds, but this one is actually a bit of a change. And it is a bit more exciting because you never know what's gonna happen, right? Like, oh, I'm playing a you know, sudden elimination match. So we'll see what happens. I don't really know what to expect, but I think it's a cool tournament that they pretty much selected 16 of the players that either worked the hardest or had the best results at the Invitational uh, to, to, to play in this. And I think it's gonna be a very nice tournament. Uh, I prepared for the Players' Championship by playing in a lot of tournaments. I think that's the best tournament practice. I know some people play in Magic Online. Good luck with that. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but I actually play a decent amount of Magic Online. Um, you know, I like playing on Magic Online. I like playing in, um, you know, some of the, the daily events or some of the 8-man events. But also when you go to a tournament, you're able to see your friends and you're able to talk to them. You say, hey, you know, this is what happened. What would you do? or you're able to walk around the room and watch other people play. And that's something really, really cool that at real tournaments, at you know, real life tournaments, you're able to do that. So I think a lot of people, when they lose, they kind of, and I, you know, I do this sometimes still, you know, they kind of get dejected. They're like, let me go to the snack bar and like eat a chicken fingers or, you know, put extra honey mustard to try to, but instead what you should be doing, you should walk around, watch your friends, or try to watch some of the really good players and learn, see their mannerisms, and then afterwards, if they win or if they lose, say, hey, can I just ask you, you know, questions for 30 seconds? Why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? And, you know, a lot of the, the pro players are really nice and they'll help you out.